We're in Rome, and while you're here, you asked to meet with the Pope, but mm. that was turned down. Why? That please ask the Vatican sort of administration. <laughs> well, the Vatican <laughs> says that it's a delicate situation with China, no. and for obvious reasons. No. How do you interpret these obvious reasons? It's okay. It's all quite often happen. It's okay. Do you know what it means? I mean, does it? What does obvious reasons mean? Obviously, China, of course, great nation. Now, economically, also you see, very important. So therefore, uh, at both case, you see, there are, I think, quite, uh, quite number of sort of Christianity, Christians, in China. Like his recent visit, uh, Korea, although Buddhist country, but large number of Christians there. I think his administration. I think thinking uh, both sort of visit China, maybe. Pro-democracy demonstrations have now ended in Hong Kong. British MPs on a fact-finding mission were recently denied visas. This has caused outrage. Should Britain be taking a tougher stance on China? China, you see, uh, economically very much want to join mainstream of the world economy. This is where they are right. We should most welcome. At the same time, free world have moral responsibility to bring China in mainstream of democracy for China's own interest. Chinese people also want that, particularly Chinese intellectuals want that. So therefore, I think the whole world, the future destination is free, freedom, democracy. I think the free world have certain responsibility, you see, to stand firm, democracy, uh, rule of law, and free press or free information, these things. But are you disappointed that countries like Britain didn't take a, a tougher sort of stance and speak up against China, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, in the time of protest when these students mm. were seeking democracy? <laughs> uh, some my friend, English, Englishman, my friend, is it they say the British government, uh, their pocket more, more or less empty. <laughs> so they very much import, they bought <laughs> closely with China for many reasons. <laughs> that also realistic, also realistic. <laughs> Young British, American, Australian men and women are going to the Middle East to fight alongside so-called Islamic State and committing brutal acts. Are they now beyond redemption? I think due to lack of holistic view and also I think due to lack of genuine sort of faith about their religion. If they are genuine, then they must practice love, forgiveness should not touch weapon. How do we regain, though, these disaffected youth who use religion as a pretext to violence and killing? Now, once, you see, they uh, reach that stage, quite difficult. Once human emotion become out of control, there is no room to utilize human intelligence or reasons, very difficult. So that's why uh, sometimes I really feel the generation of the 20th century, uh, we create a lot of problem. Uh, so now the generation of the 21st century, let them solve this problem. We now time come to relax and we create a sufficient problem for their work. You were recently in America. And again, race relation has come at the forefront with the recent race riots. Did you get a sense of that frustration while you were there? Oh, although America, I love America. You see, they, uh, a comparatively young nation, uh, but during uh, Lincoln, the slave, you see, obviously they ceased. Uh, then Martin Luther King, civil right achieved. Now today, uh, uh, Obama, originally from Africa, 
he became president. So the system, America, I think wonderful. Uh, still, emotion level and the over sort of long time sort of or say the, uh, habit, some kind of discrimination on the basis of color. This, you see, we need more constant effort in order to reduce this sort of spontaneous some kind of discrimination on the basis of color and also similarly on the basis of faith. This, I think we need on special effort continuously. We should not take for granted now these things, time passes gradually will change. That's not sufficient. We need more effort. That I feel. You said that you would potentially be the last Dalai Lama, so there won't be a 15 Dalai Lama. That depends on the circumstances. The very institution of Dalai Lama should continue or not up to Tibetan people. You see, my death may not come uh, within next year or two years. I think my death may come after, I think, 15, 20 years. Then the circumstances uh, is such that then, you see, no longer relevant, this institution, then what particularly sees? I have no worry. But there's concern that the 15th might be controlled by China, for example. There is that concern out there. That, I think, because of the political matter, the Alamo institution have the head of the political sort of responsibility. Now they're no longer there. In any way, the Dalai institution will cease one day. This man-made sort of institution will cease. No guarantee some stupid Dalai comes. That disgraced himself or herself. That's very sad. So much better the century-old tradition cease at the time of quite popular Dalai Lama. <laughs>